Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Tyler, and this is a video about how to glitch the Lava Golem using a Parasaur. Lava Golem is probably one of the best way to obtain blueprint, however, since it's the best, it's also the most contested on most highly populated server. So in this video, I'll teach you how to get the Lava Golem blueprint loot without actually having to kill it, and having the highest chance of success. Before we actually learn how this glitch works, we need to know how people normally kill the Lava Golem. The red arrow points at where normally people would go to kill the Lava Golem, and that's pretty much how everyone does it. That ledge provides cover for the Lava Golem when it, th uh, when it throws Lava Rocks, and it also um, prevents Lava Golem from hitting you with its melee attack. So that's how everyone does it. People just grapple up to it, mine a few crystal, throw a below down, and shoot the Lava Golem. So that's how we have to exploit them. So essentially, how this exploit works is, let me just fly up to the surface real quick. So I ghosted to the surface, so pretty much right now we're directly above the Lava Golem on the surface. And I've already placed a foundation here in advance to mark the location. So this is pretty much where you want to build the parasol structure. I'll show you the course in a sec, so be sure to uh, mark them down if you don't want to forget them. You have to pretty much build at this exact same place or somewhere really close around it in order to make it work. Because the range of the parasol is not unlimited and that Lava Golem Pit is pretty damn far down the mesh. Right, so now we're at the location, we're going to start building the parasol structure. So how you're going to build it is you're just going to put a foundation down here and then place walls around it and make it too high. It literally only needs to be a one by one, nothing fancy. And then after that, just put a parasol in it. Any level of work, it really doesn't matter. You don't need it for PP or anything, you just need it to detect your enemies. Place a ceiling over it and then place the walls around it and then you have completed your parasol build. Remember enable turret mode on your parasol as it's normally um, not enabled and then you also want to set your parasol mode to players only, the detection mode. This is pretty important because you might detect random teams if you don't set it to players only. Now we're going to actually test it and see how good the method actually is and see if it will actually work. So I'm going to just going to unclaim it so it can actually detect me, as you can see it does. Right, so I'm going to go down to Lava Golem right now and see where it actually starts detecting. Right, so when you first enter the arena, it actually does not detect you at all. So what people normally do is rush through this area so it doesn't get like slammed by the Lava Golem. And then they will just simply grapple up to this area and turn around, throw down a beetle and start shooting and there you go, the parasaur detected me. So anyone who pretty much goes here will get detected by parasaur as long as they stay here. So pretty much the entire time that's killing the gom, they will be detected. This means you literally know when people start doing the boss and they finish the boss. You have the exact time frame of them doing it. So in order to counter it, what should you do? Well, here's the thing. Anyone who'd been in this cave before know that knows that there is one choke point that everyone has to go through. It is a frustrating choke point that there's always seems to be like dinos behind it. So what you want to do is you literally want to be in front of the choke point with a bowler in hand. Since you know exactly when they finish their boss fights, all you have to do is use K mode and a bowler. And when they come through this choke point, since it, it's a crouch choke point, they have to come through extremely slowly. It's extremely easy for you to simply bowler them, and after that, it's literally what you want to do. I personally use a poison grenade, that's ch cheap, easy, non-complicated, requires zero skill by the way. I'm not good at this game, so I don't do the fancy fabby thing. But be careful, if you throw it too near, too close to you, you might get knocked out, and that would be kind of embarrassing, getting knocked out by your own knock nade. But it doesn't have to be a knock nade. As I said, you can use a fabby, Compo to the head, shotgun, heck you, you can even like put a Theris here, I'm pretty sure you can fit a Theris here. So you can just put one here, like uncrowd one here and just two tap them if you want, if you have like a good Theris line. There's no stopping you from doing that. There's so many options, as long as you bowler them and you catch them out here in time, then yeah, it's pretty much free loot for you. There's nothing that could go wrong. Right, now we're to method 2. So method 2 is actually even more brain dead than the first, doesn't require any glitch. It's literally bringing a Fiomia, 
the easiest dino to tame in arc pretty much out to this area you just crowd and uncrowd here so you put it on passive mount it and then just park it so people can't go around it it takes a few tries as the terrain is kind of scuffed somewhat here but after a few tries you should be able to dismount without getting stuck and as long as people can go over it and go around it you're good so if you can't already tell this method pretty much prevents people from going into the cave unless they kill your dino a hostile mob does not spawn here so your Fiomia wouldn't get killed so you should be fine just put it on passive and if people ha want to go through this area they have to kill your Fiomia and what that means is that it will send a tribe message to the entire tribe a big red letter on the top of your screen so what you want to do is you want to name your Fiomia something that everyone in your tribe knows so you can name it literally anything you just have to make sure that everyone in your tribe knows that if this Fiomia dies it means that people are doing the lava gong and you have to drop everything you're doing to go for it the loot is absolutely worth your time and just spending like five minutes to kill the people who's running the lava gong is definitely worth your time so remember just name it anything it doesn't have to be fancy just name it and when people come here they have to kill your Fiomia and then they'll just go in and do the boss as normal and then by the time they finish the boss and come out here your entire tribe should be out here waiting for them with a bowl in hand and a nade in the other so that pretty much wraps up today's tutorial i hope you all enjoyed it learn something from it maybe even get some good blueprints for it with that being said i'll see all legends in the next one peace out